folks, we've all been there. One minute you're furry friends chasing squirrels, the next they're limping around like they've seen a ghost. It's enough to make your heart skip a beat. But hold your horses, because panicking won't help your pet. That's why I'm here today, partnering with CallVet, to give you the lowdown on handling pet emergencies like a pro. We'll cover everything from the first frantic phone call to those crucial follow-up visits. Stick with me, and you'll be ready for anything. All right, so your beloved pooch decides to sample some questionable leftovers, or maybe your cat's taken a tumble from the bookshelf. First things first, grab that phone. Call your vet immediately. Now, I know you might be a ball of nerves, but try to stay calm and speak clearly. Tell them what happened, what symptoms you're seeing, and don't forget to mention any potential causes. The more information you can give them, the better equipped they'll be to guide you through the next steps. Now, your veterinarian, they're like the wise old owl of the animal kingdom. They've seen it all, from splinters and paws to upset tummies from gobbling down too much grass. When they give you instructions, you listen up good. They might tell you to administer some basic first aid or even give your pet some medicine. Whatever it is, follow their directions to the letter. Remember, every second counts in an emergency, so don't delay. You know how I always say I need to see it to believe it? Well, the same goes for your vet, except they need to hear it. When you're on that call, be as descriptive as possible about your pet's condition. Tell them about their breathing. Is it fast, slow, shallow? How about their heart rate? Is it racing like a jackrabbit? Are they conscious and responsive or a little out of it? And don't forget to mention any visible injuries or symptoms, no matter how small they seem. Trust me, every detail helps. Now technology, it's a wonderful thing, especially when it comes to pet emergencies. These days, you can connect with your vet through video calls, just like we're doing right now. This gives them a chance to actually see your pet and assess the situation more accurately. So if your vet offers this service, don't hesitate to use it. It's like having them right there in your living room, guiding you every step of the way. Sometimes a trip to the clinic is unavoidable. If your vet advises you to bring your pet in, make sure you know how to transport them safely. Now, depending on the situation, this might involve gently securing them in a carrier or using a makeshift stretcher. Your vet might even have some tips on how to stabilize your furry friend during the journey. Remember, safety first. You don't want any additional mishaps along the way. Listen up, folks. This next tip is crucial. Once you're on your way to the clinic, give them a heads up. Let them know you're coming and briefly explain the situation. This allows them to prepare for your arrival and provide immediate care when you get there. Time is of the essence in emergencies, so every minute saved can make a difference. You know how I'm always prepared for anything on the farm? Well, you should be prepared for pet emergencies too. Having a well-stocked emergency kit can be a lifesaver. Ask your vet what essentials to include as they can tailor it to your pet's specific needs. Think of it as a first aid kit on steroids, packed with everything from bandages and antiseptics to your pet's medical records and emergency contact numbers. Trust me, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So you've navigated the initial emergency and your furry friend is on the mend. That's great news. But remember, the journey doesn't end there. Follow-up care is just as important as the initial treatment. Make sure you understand your vet's instructions for medications, follow-up appointments, and any dietary changes. And don't be shy about calling them if you have any questions or concerns. Remember folks, when it comes to pet emergencies, staying calm is key. By following these tips and using your common sense, you'll be well-equipped to handle any situation that comes your way. Remember to call your veterinarian. Those folks are miracle workers, and don't forget to breathe. Your furry friend needs you to be their rock. And hey, if I can handle a whole farm of critters, you can handle anything.